Good morning, Great LA Trail from the WCA TTV studio. I'm your host, Abby Williams. This is a final reminder that anyone who signed up for Capstone next year must submit their application to Mrs. Logan by S110 by Friday, April 1st. Applications are available in the guidance office and outside Mrs. Logan's room. Review your email from Mrs. Logan for details or reach out with any questions. Anyone who has not applied by Friday, April 1st cannot be considered for the class. Bracelets will be sold in the Commons now through Friday, April 1st to contribute towards humanitarian relief in Ukraine for $3 each. Donations such as clothes, blankets, diapers, non-perishable food, and sanitary products will be collected as well. All proceeds and donations will be going to the Rankin Croatian Club. Link Crew is looking for 60 kind, energetic, and positive role models to serve as link leaders for next school year. Link Crew is a peer monitoring and high school transitioning program that helps freshmen feel welcome and comfortable during their first year of high school. If you are interested in applying, please check your email for the link to the online application or contact Mrs. Houck in C107. The deadline to apply is April 4th. We go to Nate Roth for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. For today's weather, we'll be seeing a high of 69, a low of 47, with 50% chance of thunderstorms. For Friday, we're looking at a high of 49, a low of 31, with a 50% chance of rain showers. And on Saturday, we're looking for a high of 54 and a low of 27, with partly sunny skies. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Nate. Now through April 1st, the Student Store will be assisting the Interact Club with its efforts to help St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. You can donate in the store or round up your credit card purchase and donate the money to St. Jude's. On April 1st, the store will watch the total money donated up to $500. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Adina Prue with What's Cooking. What's Cooking, Latrobe? It's Thursday, March 31st, and cooking up in the main line, we have the Fiesta Chicken Quesadilla with a side tortilla chips and roasted ranch chickpeas. Sandwich options for today are the hamburger, cheeseburger, or chicken patty. The pizza options for today are the homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. In the grab and go bar, we have fresh salads, deli hoagies, and ranch chickpeas. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Adina. Are you interested in becoming a lifeguard? Email Miss Singus to sign up for her class starting April 2nd. Lifeguarding is not being offered as a PE class in school next year, but you can still get certified at the school rate of $41. A lifeguard certification outside of the school costs upwards of $300. Don't hesitate, spots are filling up fast. We now go to Luke Hamity for the Wildcats Sports Report. What's up Wildcats? To start off the day, the boys tennis team will travel to Kiski area to battle the Cavaliers at 3.30 p.m. Your girls' lacrosse team is back in action where they host the Bethel Park Blackhawks at 7.30 p.m. Lastly, your boys' volleyball team will end off the night against TJ for their first home game of the season. First service later for 7.30 p.m. That's all for Latrobe Sports. Now let's kick it out to Ben Hamity for National Sports. Thanks, Luke. Now here's your National Sports Report for today. In the NBA, there will be five games tonight as the Lakers head to Salt Lake City to play the Jazz. This is going to be a crucial game for Los Angeles as they are currently out of the play-in tournament for the 7, 8, 9, and 10 seeds. It will be interesting to see if LeBron and the team can pull it off. Over to the NHL, there will be multiple games on the ice as your Penguins will head to St. Paul to face off against the Wild at 8 p.m. They are looking to rebound from their tough 3-2 loss last Tuesday against the Rangers. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Ben. Past set hit junior Josh Harvilla is a standout in the classroom and on the volleyball court. Here is reporter Tyler Nelson with today's Student Spotlight. Junior Josh Averilla does not only excel in school, but also on the volleyball court. Time management is an important part of this, and I've realized not to procrastinate and to prioritize uh, schoolwork first and get things done as soon as possible. Sports run deep in Josh's family history, and he uses his loved one's experiences to help him on the court. One of the main reasons I started playing was watching my sisters play um, varsity volleyball, um, and it looked like a fun sport to play. Josh has had many memorable moments over the years, and this year coming up is due to be the best one yet. I'm looking forward to getting to spend time with my teammates and the chance to compete for a section title. 
After five years of play, Josh has collected many awards, such as Third Team All Section, Best Hands Award, and the Rising Star Award. My family, Coach V, and my teammates have all contributed to my success as a volleyball player. 2021 was a successful year for Josh, and he is hopeful 2022 will bring even more. My goals for the season are to improve my serving, my blocking, as well as my assists per game, and improving my third team all section to first team. With two more seasons of high school volleyball, Josh is thinking about what his future may hold. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do after high school, but I would definitely consider playing volleyball. Josh and the Greater Latro Wildcat men's volleyball team have high hopes for this season. Come watch Josh and his teammates in action this spring. Now here's Harley Cochran with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. In World News, Western Intelligence has uncovered that Russia sent hundreds of mercenaries from the Wagner Group to Ukraine's border in hopes to break the current stalemate. On Tuesday, the World Bank approved $400 million to be allocated to Tanzania in order to help roughly 900,000 vulnerable households struggling due to COVID-19 pandemic. That's all for World News. Now here's Alexis Noll with Community News. Thanks, Harley. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the main gym, the Interact Club will be hosting the Reverse Rolls basketball game. This is an event like no other and something you won't want to miss out on, especially the halftime performance competition between us and Ligonier. This event serves as a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and all members of the community are invited to attend or participate. Food and drinks will be available. Make sure to stop by and cheer on the players and cheerleaders. That's all for Community News. Thanks and back to you. We will be back after this message. Prom tickets will be sold on My School Dance now through Friday, April 8th. If you purchase your tickets and complete all required forms correctly by the end of the school day on April 1st, your name will be entered for a chance to receive a reimbursement on yours and your date's tickets, which is a $130 value. Tickets will not be sold after April 8th, so please don't wait until the last minute to complete the ticket buying process. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latro.